Good morning, everybody. So there's a workout that, um, and I put a bunch of workouts on this channel so far, but there's a workout that's a really, really good kind of test yourself, <clears throat> test your fitness and see where you're at for distance runners that I want to share with you. And this is essentially 5K to 8K to 10K, so it's track and cross country. And there's two different versions. There's an initial one and there's one you can build towards, okay? It's similar to the Michigan, which is made fam was made famous by the guys from the University of Michigan. It's essentially... 1600, 1200, 800, 400. So it's a good way for middle distance runners and distance runners to test each other themselves at the same time. But how they do it is they run a tempo mile after each rep to really, really, really test the uh, not only the ability and the sharpness, but the fitness to make it as challenging as possible, which is a great workout in itself. I do it a little bit differently, um, but this is a different workout and I want to share with you. So I'm going to continue to put out a lot of workouts. So if you're a coach or an athlete, you're not subscribed to this channel, please do that right now. <clears throat> please do not leave. I'm not subscribed to the channel. I've got so many things coming for you. But let me give you this for, uh, first part of the workout, okay? This is, uh, and you'll see the slide's going to pop right up here on the screen. Test yourself, okay? <clears throat> it's just, it's different than the Michigan, okay? It's more voluminous, more meaning more volume. So you can call it, what do you want, call it the Great Lakes, right? <laughs> you essentially jog half the distance of the rep as a recovery. So after the 2K here, and the workout is 2K, 1,600, 1,200, 800, 400. So we've added two kilometers worth of volume here. So we got it together, 36, 48, 50, uh, 56, 6,000 meters worth of running. So, but you can do, and there's a couple different ways you can do it. You, jogging half the distance of the rep is your recovery is the first way I would do the workout. Now, you can test yourself this way, and this is a great way to do it too. Okay, you can do a 2K, 10K pace, 600 mile pay, at 5K pace, 3, 1,200 at 3K pace, or something like that. A 1,200 also at 5K pace, 800 3K pace 400 mile pace. They're just progressively getting faster per rep is the, is the ultimate goal, right? So, and you can do this to work out again, and you can either change the jog to a tempo, or you can speed up that jog if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. Okay, so you add a little bit more brisk running in between the rep. It's a great way of testing yourself. This is a great way of testing yourself mid cross country or midway through the season. If you're running a 5K or training for, again, 8K or 10K. So again, it's 2K, 1600, 1200, 800, 400. It's a beast of a workout. But it's a great way to test your speed, your sharpness, and your aerobic fitness as well. Now, you really want to take it to the next level. You can build towards this. This is more of 8K, 10K specific, but here's where to take it to the next level. Now it's 3200. Okay, so it's two miles, then 2400, mile and a half, then 1600, 800, 400. Now you're really beefing the workout up. And again, if you add it up, now it's what, 32, 40, 54, 56. Uh, 72, 8, 8K, 8,400 meters worth of volume, okay? 8,400 meters worth of volume. So it's a perfect uh, workout for 10K. And again, it's even workout for over-distance workout for 5K. But this is a workout that you can do also do mid-season, or you could do this workout as a secondary piece of the earlier workout, okay? Higher volume, and the rest is the same thing, jogging half the distance as your recovery. So after the two-mile, you jog a mile. After the mile-and-a-half, you jog three laps or, or, or three-quarters of a mile, and so on. Okay, so this is another great workout. Again, it's they're both cut down workouts, but they're more substantial in volume as it goes on. But again, you could do it any way you'd like. You can uh, not uh, you can repeat the workout twice and just speed up the recovery jog in between. Change it into or work your way towards the tempo if you want, or just increase the volume of the workout. Test yourself. If you're a coach or an athlete. It's up to you to really decide what you what's most appropriate for the people that you're training with or coaching. So, but I wanted to get these two workouts. These are workouts that I've done with middle distance runners and distance runners. This one particularly with distance runners, a lot of success, particularly during cross country season. It's a great way to. This is a good late late season workout right, as you approach championship season. So, and that's a great way to do it. And again, you can also scale back on this workout too. So, there's a bunch of different ways that you could do it. But so again. First workout, okay, 2K, 1,600, 1,200, 800, 400. Great. This, that's a great one for middle distance runners and distance runners to work out together. This is more distance specific, but this area is two mile, mile and a half, mile, 800, 400. Cutting volume and getting faster as you go along. But this one, you know, again, 3,200 could be an 8K, 10K pace. Same thing, but 2,400, 8K, 10K pace. 1,600, you get down to 5K pace if you can. 800, 3K pace, 400 mile pace or something like that. So... It's a great way of challenging yourself and testing yourself or testing your athletes that you're coaching. Let me know what you think. Have you seen these? Have you utilized these? And I've used these on middle distance runners who are training cross country, distance runners who are either training cross country, again, like I said, training for a 5K or 10K or 8K or whatnot. Even the longer work that could be used for uh, folks training for the half marathon. 
So, but again, it's up to you to figure out where to fit these things in. But I gave you a couple ideas. Hope you uh, hope you find them helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Greatly appreciate it. And there's a lot more stuff coming again. And again, we're doing uh, more regular live streams now. So if you have any requests on live streams, put them in the comments section or reach out to me directly. Blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com is my email. I'm going to continue doing this, but that's today's workout. Let me know what you think. Talk to you next time.